I'm a geologist, I'm an underwater mapper, and I go into unknown terrain and I map it, and then I collect things from it. I always wanted to find the Titanic. Uh, that was a Mount Everest in my world. You dream up an idea, but then you have to find someone to, to pay for it. And the Navy really wasn't interested in the Titanic. And the only reason I could convince them to do that is if I did what they wanted me to do. Tragically, on either side of the Titanic were two nuclear submarines the U.S. Navy lost during the Cold War. The Thresher to the west of the Titanic and the Scorpion to the east. We didn't want the Soviet Union to find those submarines. They have nuclear reactors, and in the case of the Scorpion, they have nuclear weapons. I said, well, look, that's fair enough, but if there's any time left over, I would like to take that extra time and look for the Titanic. Commander, we have a deal, I think. And it became the cover story, because they wanted these two other missions to be classified top secret. They didn't want them to be in the public eye. I had learned a secret that I used to find the Titanic. And the secret was this. When the Thresher and the Scorpion blew up underwater, it's called an implosion, the currents were carrying the lighter material and it made a comet, a debris trail. I didn't know about that till I went to map the Thresher and the Scorpion. If the Titanic broke up and all of that stuff went in the water, that current would carry it to the south. Somewhere down there is its trail. I didn't say what it was based upon. I said, well, look, let's not look for the Titanic. Let's look for its trail. never forget seeing the Titanic for the first time. It's pitch black. And you don't see it until the last minute. It's as if someone pulls back the curtain. It comes out of this black velvet void of nothingness. Wreckage. Huge shadow off to the left. Somebody ought to go get Bob. Oh, I love it. How I got down those six decks without breaking my neck, because I was sliding and sliding. And just as I came into the control van, we went over the boiler. Some more stuff coming. Look at it. That is big. <laughs> and then, boom, it, the room exploded. It's like a boiler! It's like a boiler! Yes, yes. Ah! <laughs> Fantastic! All right! Get up! And then it was interesting. Someone made a uh, an innocent comment. We had, you know, clocks in the room. They said she, she sinks in uh, 20 minutes because it was two two o'clock. She sank at 2:20. And that comment, she sinks in 20 minutes, was like, oh my! I mean, it was just here we were dancing on someone's grave and we were embarrassed that we were celebrating. And everyone just went silent and looked at one another. And then I said, stop the ship. And we had a memorial service. We realized we were there. It was no longer lost. It was right beneath us. And it was like, you could hear the life people in the water. You were at the very, very, very spot. There's the object, but then there's the spot, and the ground speaks, and it did.